Hola y buenos dias. Welcome to Valencia, Spain. From Barcelona, we took yet another high-speed train to get to Valencia, and we've been told that this city is kind of like a smaller and more authentic version of Barcelona. And being the third largest city in Spain, there's definitely a lot to see and do here, but we're going to kick it off by going into Old Town because there are some traditional foods that are special to this area that we really want to try. been told by so many people that we can't visit Valencia without trying the horchata, so that's exactly what we're starting the day with. The Spanish horchata is different from the Mexican horchata because it's made from tiger nuts rather than rice, and a very common pastry to pair with the horchata is the farton. These are long sweetbreads traditional to the region of Valencia, and of course, to add to the sweet feast, we also got some churros with Spanish hot chocolate. We just finished eating the most sugary breakfast of our entire lives. <laughs> the past few days I've been bothering Claire to go and get some churros again because ever since we had them over in Madrid I've been craving them like crazy. Yeah. But I normally have my cravings at night um, so starting off today I did not expect Claire to surprise me by ordering an entire platter of churros. Not platter, there were four. <laughs> oh my god. They're pretty big. Yeah. Anyways, it was delicious but it's just a lot of sugar, so I'm definitely like yeah. on a sugar high right now. I thought this would cease his um, complaining or annoyance towards the churros, but now he is once again annoying me about how much he did not want to eat churros in the morning. <laughs> Anyhow, I really did enjoy the fartons. I think I like those even more than the churros. They're a little bit less oily. And also they're kind of just like fluffy little croissants with powdered sugar on them. And they're really tasty. And then I also really enjoyed the horchata. Um, it was very similar to the Mexican horchata, but I do think it's a little bit smoother, kind of like soy milk and also um, a little bit sweeter. Everything was pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. Still was a very cool place because apparently it's over 100 years old and all the tile work and everything was just really cool to see. But now we're gonna make our way to the central market and see what they have to offer. We just finished walking through the Central Market and it was by far one of the most beautiful markets I've ever walked through. Not only was the atmosphere really lively and busy this morning on a Saturday because I guess everyone is getting their groceries, but also the natural light was just illuminating the space. So there's a dome that has lots and lots of windows and so all the sunlight can just come in and shine throughout the entire market. And now we are sitting underneath an orange tree in the Plaza de la Virgen enjoying the wonderful weather. And although it is a little bit windy, I'm just so thankful that we have some sunshine today. So after walking around Old Town, we are finally on our way to go eat one of the most famous dishes in all of Spain. We're gonna get some paella for lunch. Today for lunch we are at La Estrella for some paella and that is because all the other restaurants have been booked up. It's a very busy Saturday and I guess everyone wants paella. <laughs> and so of course we've already put in our order for paella Valenciana and that's going to take 45 minutes for them to make it. So we got a little appetizer to nibble on while we're waiting on the food. And this is escaret. I think that's how you say it but it is essentially a salted cod and roasted pepper dish and it seems to be formed into a little dome shape and served with green olives. Spanish paella, you think of it being topped with shrimp and seafood of all kind, but the original paella that actually originated here in Valencia has rabbit and chicken in it, not seafood. But of course you can still get the seafood options all over Spain, but today we are trying the authentic version.
that paella was outstanding and I've never said that about a paella before. <laughs> paella has always been this dish that I would always eat but I never craved it and I think now I will literally crave that paella valenciana every single year at least. <laughs> well, <laughs> still not every day, just a, a yearly paella. No, I was thinking like, you know, if we replace some sort of like Thanksgiving side with that, I would be all for it. Oh my gosh, that was so, so good. I'm now eating the rest of our bread to get our money's worth. <laughs> I also want to say we ate the whole thing. like. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, I don't know if we're gonna finish that, but once you get started, you just keep going. It's also a little bit shallower than you'd expect, but it yeah. still was a lot of food. Oh my goodness, I love that. We are now walking back to our Airbnb. We're gonna refill our water bottle mm -hmm. because we drank all of it while eating that paella. And then we're gonna head over to the Arts and Science Center because I think it's one of the you know, main places to see in Valencia. So we made it to the city of arts and sciences and I have to say it is extremely futuristic and everything about this place reminds me of the movie WALL-E, especially the main building just because it reminds me of the spaceship that they take into space on their lifelong cruise. The old town was very cool, you know, it's very charming, but I will say this place is way cooler in my opinion just because the old town reminded me a lot of the things that we've already seen in Spain. So this is just a nice little change of scenery and very original, something that I haven't really seen before. So pretty much this whole place is covered in this tile work. That whole dome is this white tile. embarrassing traveling with Chad sometimes. I'm like, what other shots can we get? And he's like, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I was surfing in the future. <laughs> I sometimes wonder that, you know, if I wasn't doing YouTube with Chad, what his videos would be like. <laughs> The sun is slowly setting and we've been walking for like 45 minutes now and we've walked all the way back to Old Town and we're on the search for a cocktail that is special to Valencia and it's just in time for a small little happy hour. It's looking extremely busy. <laughs> oh, hope we get a spot. Cafe de las Horas. As you can see, it is busting full in here. We actually had to wait outside for a little bit to get a seat. But we have the famous Agua de Valencia. While we were walking around today, we noticed so many orange trees, like everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And I think that Valencia is actually known for oranges so much that they have a very special cocktail. This cocktail has cava, orange juice, vodka, and gin. And they're usually served in these wide mouth glasses. So, we are going to give this special drinking taste tonight. Alright, one looks extra pulpy, this one looks a little bit smoother. Which one do you want? I'll take the pulp. <laughs> Alright, cheers! I would just think it's orange juice. Nice. <laughs> it tastes really good. Even though it was pretty simple, that drink was probably one of my favorites in Spain so far. It was really good. It was so smooth, <laughs> you don't taste any alcohol. 
So it's just a great little orange juice drink. Yeah, and I think the paella has fully uh, digested through my system. So we are going to go get some seafood for dinner because I can't get enough of it here. <laughs> First time ever, we got our own yeah. dish. <laughs> we <laughs> always share, and I was like, tonight we're not gonna share. We're each gonna get our own. <laughs> all right, dig in. This is all for me. I don't need to cut anything in half. We had the most sugary breakfast of our entire existence. Yes, and then we had the best paella of our entire lives. <laughs> and then we got to have seafood for dinner, and we didn't even have to share. So honestly, a 10 out of 10 day here in Valencia, and it was so much better than what I was expecting. Like we yeah. really got to try a lot of new foods, try a lot of new drinks, mm -hmm. and we had great weather. Couldn't have asked for anything better. But we are more than halfway done with our time in Spain mm -hmm. and we have already seen so much and learned a lot. Yeah. But I'm very excited to keep exploring this country because there's so much to see. And if you want to continue exploring this country with us, these lovely people oh, right yes. here, <laughs> then hit subscribe. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.